Hello folks, this is Sue Bell from ThemeZoom Labs. I'm here to show you the newest, innermost, darkest secrets of the latest revision of the Last Keyword Tool. This new version of the Last Keyword Tool is about ready to be released. Um, it's in the last stages of beta at the moment, and as soon as I give it a clean bill of health, it's going to go live. I would expect to see it probably Friday or Monday at the latest. And so, without further ado, let me tell you what new and cool features are, have been just added to the last keyword tool. You see, this is the project screen. This is the screen that you land on the first time that you enter, although you don't have any projects, and so it comes up with a handy dandy little menu. And from any of these projects, once you've drilled into something, let's take a oh, weight loss. That's such a great thing to drill into. Once you've, you've actually drilled into a term, you'll notice the new feature now is that all of these keywords are hot. So you can choose one of them. Let's choose lose weight. And it'll take you to our new deep inspection screen. Now here at the moment, this looks like a pretty boring screen. And let me just scroll down here and show you. There's certain pieces of information that are brought back initially anyway. And sometimes that's all you need to see. You see the ranked domains here. And um, typically you'll see information about the keyword phrase, lose weight in this case, and the domain or the URL. In other words, we can tell right away whether or not the keyword is actually in the domain string and whether or not it's in the URL. So we can bring back these two pieces of information all the time. Now, if you're looking for more information than just who's ranking for the top 10 and the domain information, then all you need to do is click on this little button here, Refresh Keyword Data and it will go off and do a really quick drill. It doesn't take very long, but I'm going to pause the video anyway. Alright, we're back and it was less than a minute and you can see that the screen has been refreshed. It refreshes automatically. You don't need to do anything. And now it has brought us some very interesting data about lose weight as a keyword. You'll see we've got a couple of pretty eye candy graphs up here on top and look at this. All of this information has been filled out. So now we can tell what the page rank is of the top 10 websites. Uh, the top 10 ranked domains as ranked on Google. Um, we can see whether or not, in the, uh, which we could see before, whether or not the keyword itself is in the domain or in the URL. Now let me take a moment and explain these flags, which I didn't do before. You see, a red flag means that the keyword is not contained, in this case within the domain, at all. A yellow flag indicates that part of the keyword is contained within the domain name. So in other words, lose weight, weight watchers. You can see where weight is in there, but lose is not. Um, and then green meaning yes, meaning it's a complete and total match. So for example, we've got in the URL itself, we've got lose weight. So contained within the URL, contained within the domain, two distinguishing pieces of information, which Matt Cutts says there's not a lot of difference between the URL or the domain, but when a market is competitive, it's good to know this information. You've also got the page rank. A page rank zero means that this particular page has no page rank in and of itself. There's a difference between that and sometimes you'll see a minus one, and a minus one means that the page has no page rank versus having a zero page rank. So when it has a zero page rank, it at least means that Google is considering that maybe possibly it might have something worthwhile saying, whereas when it's a negative one, it's not been indexed by the page ranking system at all. Okay, on to the next thing, title, all in title, the title tag within the web page. We actually go out and take a look at each one of these web pages and we determine whether or not the keyword is in the title tag in its entirety, in which case it's green, partially, in which case it's yellow, or not at all, in which case it's red. Meta, by that we mean the keyword meta tag in the header of the page. Um, the same thing, contained completely, contained partially, not at all. Pages indexed. This is how many pages on this website are indexed. It gives you an idea of the authority or the weight of the site in general. And then how many inbound links are to this page in particular, not to the site overall. So here you can see, now I'm, I haven't really analyzed these results, so I'll just take a minute and do so. Okay, so this is an indent. This is the same domain as the first um, ranked site. 
So it's, um, as you look at, a, at the SERPs page, this would be an indented entry. So that's why oftentimes you'll see an indent, it gets weighted, uh, it gets ranked because of the weight of the site um, and because of the inbound linking structure, the, the inner linking structure within the website between these two pages. Um, you have this page which gets actually legitimately ranked and then because they link heavily to each other um, with the same sorts of tags, see it's got all in the URL and it's got it all in the title tag and they link to each other no doubt on the site. So you can get another page ranked in there with relatively few inbound links. Cute trick, didn't hear it from me. Um, okay, we've got um, the next thing is WebMD. That's also a huge site. My goodness gracious, I know about them. They show up all the time everywhere you look. Um, anything about health and wellness. And um, you can see also the number of inbound links just to this one page alone, which is their default diet page. Huge, huge, huge. Highly competitive market. Um, interestingly enough, their SEO isn't all that. Clearly, if they were a little bit more on top of their SEO, they've got a higher page rank. If they were just a little bit more conscientious about their SEO, they'd be in position one. Okay, so um, so now Wikipedia, or WikiHow actually, different from Wikipedia. Um, interesting. Um, 319 inbound links, 130,000 pages indexed. Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty tough market, and for weight loss, I mean, what, what lose weight, what would you expect? So let's let's take a look briefly up here at the graphs, because they're fascinating. I love what Kelly did with these. Okay, so the blue line shows you the inbound links. This is going to be the first ranked domain, this is going to be the tenth ranked domain over here, and it's going to show you uh, proportionally what the inbound links are. Now, you can see you've got one site here that's just completely off the scale, um, the eighth one, which is just completely off the scale, weightloss-hg.biz. And what, this, what the blue band does is it helps you not focus on anomalies. In other words, it's saying most of the, um, the websites on this page are um, have a number of inbound links of less than 20,000. Okay, so 20,000 is still huge. <laughs> this is not a market I would want to take, but it keeps you from focusing on this one that's over 120,000 and just kind of lets you see what the average or what the mean is because this is a much better idea of what you actually have to do for an inbound linking campaign in order to be able to rank. Okay, so it's it's sort of an average or median. Um, and then the same thing here. We're looking at what the page rank is. You can see what the page rank is overall. You've got this one, which is, you know, nada. And then you've got another one, which is ranking up here at seven. And sometimes you'll see the same kind of spike as what we see here with the inbound links. In fact, it's more frequent that you see those spikes with page rank than it is that you see them with the inbound links. But regardless, what this band is doing is it's giving you an idea that, that you need to be between a page rank four and a page rank six in order to really be able to play in this particular market. And that's everything that I'm going to show you for this video, but I have more changes that I want to share with you. So come back for part two of the secret changes from the ThemeZoom Secret Lab.